It's a beautiful morning, and I just wanted to make this clip real quick before I start this video to tell you that I did a little research and I have discovered that this company does license their artwork. So their artists are listed in the listings. They're down a little ways, you gotta look for them, but um, they are licensed artwork for the most part, unless they're stock images, I believe. So yeah, I thought I would share that with you because I know people are gonna ask and I did not know the answer. So I, I'm putting that, putting that here at the beginning of the video. Hello everybody, it's Mindy, and I'm going to show you a diamond painting today. So if you are new here, <clears throat> this is one of the things I do. I show diamond paintings. I also crochet and travel and have a little farm and all kinds of fun stuff. So if you're new here, check out some of my other videos as well. I have some fun stuff. Um, and for those of you who are returning, hey, welcome back. So this is going to be my year. It was going to be my year of just doing different things expanding, stretching, growing, trying new stuff, okay? Well, life has a way of, you know, jumping in the way sometimes, and I haven't done a lot of that. But this is something new. And this is, well, thank you to my friend Joe. <laughs> Joe was like, hey, have you seen this company? And I'm like, I have, I've seen them, I've heard of them. Have I purchased from them? No. So I purchased from Diamond Express. Now this looks a little funny and I had to look at it for a minute. Apparently this diamond painting was too big for their box. So they took another box and cut off the end and extended the box. That's what I figure has happened here. So I'm not going to cut that because then I won't have a box for it. I thought I was going to need to cut something, but I don't think I do. No, nope, because I can get in here. Okay, so let me tell you some details about this. I ordered this on April 1st. And I got it a few days ago. They said it would be about two to three weeks, and it was pretty close to that three-week mark. So um, it was $69.99. I had a discount. I don't remember how I got the discount, but at a $21 discount. So my cost on this was $48.99. All right. So let's look at it. Let's do a nice little review of this. So the first thing I will tell you, we have the scalloped and poked edges, um, and it has the soft back canvas. So we have... Um, this one's pretty soft. It's pretty nice. All right. Some are a little rougher than others. This is like a feltish back type. And it's really, it's actually pretty nice. I like it. All right. So let's see. That's upside down. So let's, it's got poured glue and we have um, plastic on there, right? It's kind of a thin plastic. I like a thicker plastic. Oh, it has two sheets of plastic. All right. So there are two sheets. I just caught that one right there. Okay, so this is a 60 by 80. It says that up here at the top, 60 by 80. Here is a thumbnail picture. Here is our legend. Look at that legend is right at the edge. It even got scalloped over here. It has 50 colors. I do not think there are any ABs in here. Um, I don't see anything that's listed as AB, so I don't believe so. Now, if we look at this right off the bat, First thing, a couple things I notice. One, we have some guide circles, but they're not dark black lines. So I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, yeah. The other thing I notice right off the bat is that all of the lettering is black. Now, I'm a big fan of having some white lettering on dark symbols. Um, and they don't have any white lettering here. But the symbols are clear. They're easy to read. I'm looking around here trying to see if there's anything that's blurry or anything that would be hard to see. And there's really not. I just, I, I'm a complete fan of um, white lettering on dark symbols, which they could use in this painting. Okay. All right. Down here at the bottom, www.diamondexpress. Um, Instagram, email support, things like that are on the bottom of your canvas. I was going to roll this backwards, but it's kind of laying down very nicely. Look how nicely this is laying down, right? Okay, let's get into it. So you're going to see the image before we see the drills. There's our big bag of drills. Okay, now it wants to roll up and our tool kit. So let me, let me roll this a little bit the other way, just so it will lay nice and flat. It's a very nice canvas, very pliable and 
it's not too thick, not too thin. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of, it's kind of the uh, happy medium there. All right. So there is our image. Um, now it's a little hard to tell what it is. Um, it's not coming through perfectly clear. Although I know there's water over here and some swans. And it's been a while since I ordered it. So I think this is a butterfly up front. What is this? We got a, we got an inventory sheet here. There's a little cabin. I know it's a cabin on a lake or some water. Or a dock out back. It really is kind of hard to see. I believe it's round drills. And I, that, that might be exactly what we're seeing here. Round drills don't pick up the detail on a canvas before you put the drills down like squares do. So I think it's round drills. I didn't want to go with squares right out of the gate, right? I think this is a flag hanging off the cabin. We'll look at the picture. A tire swing in the background. So it, it's a little clearer when you look at it through the camera than what I'm seeing. Flowers here. I see, um, yeah, these are water lilies over here. So this is all water. So the water must come all the way around here. Those are definitely water lilies with the butterfly flying over it and like a little stone wall. All right, we'll get into that when we look at the thumbnail and that should show a little better picture. All right, I'm gonna open this because I have never purchased from them before. So we'll show you what comes in their tool kit. We have our moss tray. We have a couple of multi-placers. All right, we have a few baggies, not very many, just a few. Oops, I found another multi-placer. Here's another one. There we go. We have a squishy for our, our pen, which is the glittery pen, right? Squishy goes on there. Just like so. We have a pair of tweezers. Oh, they are bent nose tweezers. Ooh, I like some bent nose tweezers. What do you think? All right. And our wax. All right. We'll set that aside. And let's get out this inventory sheet so we can see what we're working with here. It is round drills. I kind of thought it was just by looking at that canvas that it was going to be round drills like I said um, you cannot really judge a canvas by just looking at it naked like this until you put some drills on it especially if it's rounds rounds have a tendency to not show up as much detail just the printed part okay so here is our inventory sheet all right, let's look at this, see what we get. Hopefully the picture is pretty good. Maybe I will actually snap a picture from the website too and put it in here, but here is the picture. So as you see, it is a cabin, still fairly small, a cabin over here, the sun shining through the trees onto this water, this lake. There's the water lilies, the swans, some flowers. I mean, it's a very pretty image when I saw it on the website. 60 by 80. It's a good size. I mean, it should turn out nicely. Um, we have 50 colors. Here's our symbols. Here's our DMC number. And then the other two numbers are the quantity of drills and the weight. So these are pre-bagged drills I see in the little baggies. This I can always run through a Xyron sticker maker and put this on my jars. All I really need is this part right here, the number 26 and the Y. Cut that out, run it through my sticker maker, and I've got labels for my jars. All right, let's look at what we have. Let's look at a few of these colors. Let's start with this one right here. <laughs> what is a landscape without a bag of 3371? That is the black of landscapes. It's a super dark, dark brown. So a big, huge bag of brown, all right? I think there's another one. Nope, it's close though. 3031. So we got two bags of brown. Okay, all right. What else do we have? What other colors do we have? I said they're all pre bagged. On the bags, they have all of that information that was on the inventory sheet. Here is our kit number, the size, the DMC code for the drill, and the weight 3.34 grams. So we've got a lot of tans. Just going to kind of set them out here. A big bag of green. That's probably our next largest color, largest amount. Any more pretty colors? I know there's going to be some pretty purples and pinks in here. 
And we got a lot of tans with that yellow. It's pretty. Lots of browns and creams. Kind of sort these a little bit. Gray, green, blue, more brown, more blues, more light colors. There's some pretty colors here. Blues, pinks, and purples. Let's see what else. Another purple, a couple more pretty blues and teal colors. So, yeah, I mean, so far, other than we have a little bit of um, guide circles, a little bit. It's not bad. It's not extreme. They're not dark black circles or anything. And we have all black lettering. I could I could do with some white lettering. It just makes things easier. Now, using a light pad, of course, will always help. But those are just always things that I look for and I would suggest. So that's like a greenish brown. Here's some of our pretty pinks. More green. So this is kind of, I'm trying to put like the bright colors over there. The greens and the browns are over here. Grays. There we go. So how does it look? Those are our colors. It's really kind of muted. It's not bright. It's not intended to be bright. Um, it is a landscape. So we're going to have lots of greens and browns, trees, you know, leaves. The cabin itself, of course, brown. But then here's our flower colors over here. Pretty little flower colors. Well, I, what do you think? I mean, it looks pretty good. Um, let's check this stickiness on the glue. The plastic is kind of thin, but the glue is, uh, the glue is a medium sticky. It's not the stickiest. It's not a thick, thick glue. I'm certain the drills are going to stick just fine to it. It's just not one of those glues you're going to like sink into when you're drilling. You know, it's not... That's not squishy, but you know, that's okay. As long as that glue holds the drills, I think the ray of sunshine coming through the trees is going to be really pretty. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks good. Everything looks good. We talked about the symbols already. Other than that, you know, everything is clear though. That is like a number one important is that they are clear and they are easy to read. Can you tell that these are all H's, right? No, you got too much glare. Hang on. See all the H's? There you go. Over here, we have some other symbols over here. but All right. Well, other than putting some drills on it and trying it out, that's the next step. How is this going to turn out? Let's put some drills on it, right? So that's what I have for you today, and that is from Diamond Express. Hopefully you saw a picture from the website, what this looked like. And um, yeah, that, I like that they have a legend on both sides. I forgot to mention that. There's one over here as well. And there's a picture on both sides, top and bottom. Doop, doop. Diamond Express, feed your passion. That's what it says at the top. Yeah, I mean, they're worth trying. I mean, it was a decent price. Seems to be a good product. They got a lot of good things going for them, a nice canvas. They've got I mean, the drills looked awesome. Let's look real close at the drills. And they're round drills, you know, round drills. I, it's hard to have a real problem with round drills, I think. And that's why I went with the rounds before I tried squares. It's just they're really, you know, they're very forgiving, round drills are. Here's my favorite color, mm -hmm. 550. They look really good. I don't see a lot of odd sizing or misshapen or anything strange going on with them they look they look nice they look really nice okay because the proof is in the pudding at this point putting drills on and seeing how it turns out so that's what i have today you guys um let me know what you think if you have purchased from them let me know that and how did that go if you purchased from diamond express did it turn out well did you have a good experience did you like them you know i like to hear from other people but what they think, their thoughts. All right, time for me to go. And I'm going to let you guys go. Oh, there's sparkle on the canvas. Did you notice that? I just noticed it. What kind of canvas is it? Feels just kind of like your oil canvas, but eh, it's not bad. 
it's really nice canvas. So, all right, that's it. I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you soon. Bye, everybody.